Okay, bud. It's okay. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> On behalf of Ryan and Cheyenne, I want to thank all the friends and the family that are here today to help them celebrate this union that's going to take place. This occasion not only marks the beginning of their marriage commitment, but it also is a commemoration of the love that they've nurtured and shared together. They are choosing to enter a new life with each other today, a life that's been building on the foundations of trust, companionship, and mutual respect. And when we were doing planning, I asked them to spend some time in the Bible and to look up some uh, readings that spoke to their heart. And so before I get into the rest of it, I have to tell you that um, Ryan gives me two paragraphs, strong, strong paragraphs, but two, two paragraphs. And Cheyenne kind of hit me with a novel. <laughs> so Cheyenne, Ryan said that he loved you from the day that he met you. He said that you just have something different about you. But what really stands out to me is that when he went on to explain, while he loves you for who you are today, 
He sees you in all of your potential for what you can be in the future. This man truly, truly loves and believes in you. The Cheyenne love you for, and I quote, dang good back rubs. <laughs> Does she love you for making her laugh or trying to sing songs when you don't know the words? Maybe she mentioned something about your love for mac and cheese. <laughs> so, after I took about a day to read the novel, um, and a few more days to figure out what she really, really loves about you, I can deliver this message to you in her own words. God sent me my soulmate. He sets my soul on fire. And what makes me love him even more is his love for his family and his friends. So now we come to the words that Ryan and Cheyenne want to hear most today. Uh, they've prepared their own vows to read to one another at this time. Yes, you all may see it, thank you. Shy, you have been my best friend since day one, and I don't think I could have asked for a better person to be standing in front of today, promising my life to. You are the most strong, beautiful, selfless person I've met. From the day I met you, I knew you were the one. I promise to always be your best friend and to never let her laughter fade out and to always pick you up when you need it. I promise to always protect you from harm, even all the little bugs that scare you to death. <laughs> to stand by you, help you with all your troubles, and be your shoulder to lean on. I promise our love will never fade off, that I will always have the same fun, young love with you with absolutely no dull moments. I promise that I will always be your one and only and never stray from you. I promise to always be here day in and day out and work tirelessly to, pr to improve and always be better for you. And I promise to always love you always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ryan, leading up until we met, I thought someone so perfect seemed unattainable. But here we are ready to take on whatever life has thrown at us now as one. You have exceeded everything I thought a man should be, and God could not have picked a better person for me. You are the most handsome, patient, hardworking, and selfless man I know. You light up any room you walk in with your smile or contagious laugh that I love. You really are my best friend and I think all of our family and friends can agree that you are the yin to my yang and the witty to my poo. <laughs> if you are scared, I promise to protect you and always be your rock. If you are down, I promise to be there to lift you up. I promise to be by your side through all of life's adventures because no adventure would be worth doing without you. I promise that every part of my soul will be dedicated to you and only you for the rest of our lives. I promise to love you passionately, fiercely, and unconditionally until my last breath. And I promise when this life is over, my soul will continue to follow yours everywhere you go because this lifetime will never be long enough with you. I'm so excited for your life. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ryan, do you take Cheyenne to be your wedded wife? I do. Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and to remain faithful to her for as long as you both shall live. I do. Cheyenne, do you take Ryan to be your wedded husband? Mm -hmm. Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and remain faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Okay, we can have the rings. <laughs> Are you for real? Are you for real? Hey, hey, you're 0 for 1. 0 for 1 right now. 0 for 1. 
Oh, there they are right there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ryan, take this ring and place it on Cheyenne's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. Take this ring, Cheyenne, and place it on Ryan's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. And as much as you have declared your intent and your love for one another, in the presence of family and friends, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by the power invested in me. I now declare you husband and wife. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, it is a great honor for me to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Christina West and Bryant Williams. All right, coming up next, we have Hannah, Rito, and Jay Dixon.
everybody, and now the moment you've all been waiting for. Introducing for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Cheyenne Smith. <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming out tonight and celebrating this beautiful couple here, right here, Rob and Shy. Some of the best two people I've ever met in my life, honestly. You know, when I got the text message from Rob saying that he was going to pop the question to Shy, honestly, my back felt a whole lot better because I didn't know how to carry his ass around anymore. I know Shy was going to take that weight from me. And honestly, when I met Shy, I knew she was meant for Rob. Y'all are great for each other. Y'all are perfect. Y'all are great people, both individually and together. You know, me and Rob go way back. I don't know if y'all know me or Rob personally, but we go way back. And we both started off as friends. I don't know where we met at, but if you knew us through high school, you would have thought we were stepbrothers because either I was living at his house or he was living at my house. I bet Joe thought I was an adopted son, and I bet my parents thought Rob was his adopted son. It was crazy. But you know what? Time has flew by. Time has flew way by, Rob. I remember our only two words was showing up to the ball field at Beachmont. Looking out through the fence, was like, damn, how far are these fences? It don't matter. <laughs> how it far matter. are they? It don't matter. And then in the back of my head, I was going to be like, is Rob going to remember the bun sign or not? No. <laughs> he ain't going to remember or not. But anyways, I just want to thank everybody for coming out to this night and celebrating this beautiful night for Rob and Shy. And, you know, I heard every party starts with a good speech, so let's get it going. If everybody's got a drink, if anybody's got a drink, put a drink in your hand, raise it up. I got a little speech for you. All right, is everybody ready? All right, the past is history, the future is a mystery, but today is a gift because today is the present. Let's get it, everybody. All right, y'all, I just want to follow with that and say, <laughs> <laughs> well, just echo what he said. Thank y'all for coming out. Just, just to kind of start from the beginning, um, for us and the ones that, that know us, we're you know, a group of three girls, and for us, we never really had a brother. It was us three. We were in the dirt, we were wrestling, we were getting in trouble, we were, you know, the boys. That's who we were, you know, on both ends. Um, and I, I thank God every day for it, because this right here, this girl is my backbone. No matter what happens, she is who keeps me grounded, who keeps me here, who keeps me focused, who has my back. I can't thank you enough for it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I didn't really understand or, or consider until I had a brother come into my life. And uh, that's... That's 100% what I consider you, you know, um, from the ups and the downs and, and who you've been and, and for our family. I, I couldn't thank you enough. And to compare to this girl right here, she is a light in herself and, and shines bright as hell, but you amplify it 100%. And I, I love y'all both, and I, I can't thank you enough. And y'all are perfect together. I love you, okay? <laughs> we all love you. <laughs> get a hell yeah for Robin Chai out here yeah. one time. One time, I just want to hear it for him. I want to hear it for him. It's a special night for these two out here. Special night. All right, y'all. We're going to cut some cake.